You can see the two houses there, it's the two number five and number seven, the two with the blue shutters. And the great thing here is there's a garage with them as well and a big storeroom behind it. So if you rented these or you jeeted them, one could have the garage for parking or storage and one could have the back part of the garage which is now sectioned off as their own storage. So we'll take a quick look at those while we're out here. So the garden, they've got their courtyards as I said, the garden's just up there to the left. We'll have a look at that as well. But a really nice garage space in there. So that could be for one of them. And you've got a really nice storage space in here, which is a really, really good space in here. And you've got a very similar size first floor storage. So you have lots of space in here, which is unusual for these type of little houses, um, these two bedroom houses. So we'll come out again, you'll be able to see the, the fronts of them better. There you go, that's number seven and that's number five. So we'll start off in number seven and um, we'll have a walk around that and then you'll get to see what I mean about what you can do with number one. I'll be coming through the front door there into number five and you'll see it's got a really nice big kitchen, kitchen space, kitchen diner space um, and this has had a table and chairs and a sofa in it before so you've got a lot of space. As I say this one's got all brand new windows and a brand new roof and both houses have got the new style radiators. So as you go around you can see a really really big space as you walk towards the back, you have the nice shower room there. Full shower. If I spin around, you have a separate WC on that side. So nice and self-sufficient. And then you step up and you come to this really nice living room. I'll just go to the end here, you'll see the space of it. So you've got a nice, really nice space. Sofa there, room for another chair, TV, and of course you can have a you've got a unit under there, and that goes back into the kitchen. And then you've got the new double glazed doors take you out here to the courtyard. And both the houses have a similar space. They've both got this courtyard space, which is ample space for a four-seater table, barbecue area for the washing. So it's perfect. Great to be able to sit outside. The sun comes this way as well, so you're going to get the sun most of the day on these courtyards and you haven't got to worry too much about looking after them, so that's a real... Come upstairs to this first one, number five, you'll see some vast, vast space. It's currently one space. If I spin around, you'll see how big it is. And there's a nice cloakroom in there as well. It's using a mirror, nice cloakroom. But the great thing about this one, what you can easily do when you come up the stairs and where that wardrobe is, you could very easily put a partition wall in and put a landing in and a partition wall across the middle probably somewhere where that maybe where that central beam is or somewhere in the middle here you put a central partition in and a small landing and corridor then you'd have one door into this room and one door into that room so basically you'd have literally some kind of partition going along maybe to the left of the light there so you'd have this nice room here and you'd have a, ni have a nice room over there that room would have a cloak room off it. Um, and obviously this room could use that as well. They've both got the Velux and you've got a brand new roof on here as well. So of course, easily, easily with a small partition wall across there and a landing wall, just a stud wall. You could easily make this into two bedrooms and there'd be two double bedrooms as well. So it could work really well. And you've got the two little double glazed windows there. So definitely workable. So if you're gonna rent it or jeet it or whatever you wanna do, or even live in it, you can easily make these two bedrooms so you've got room for your guests. So as we come in number seven, you come through the door there and you can see really nice kitchen with the, the new hob and everything there. There's a brand new oven in there as well. As I say, both houses have got these brand new radiators and that goes in towards the shower room and the living room. But in here you have the bedroom for this one. So a double bedroom and there's normally a four foot six bed there. So turn it around you'll see and uh, these floors were found, there was all vinyl on these floors, but they took it up and found these lovely floors and they're really, really nice. So again, this is a really nice room. So this is the only current bedroom on this property. However, I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but we're just going to have a look at the, what we've got here. So we have the nice shower room there. 
And here we have a storage cupboard. I'm not going to take you up there, but up there we have access to the first floor. And the first floor is very similar to the one I've just shown you, very similar size wise. So ideally, if we come back this way, if you put some stairs, we're in the living room now, if you put some stairs going up, going up from here, up to there, through the ceiling, then you'd be going straight up to the first floor. You can create another one or two bedrooms up there. The space is very similar to next door. So this is the living room for this one. Just turn around so you can see it. A really nice space, good floors, new windows, and again, you've got the courtyard to the back where you can sit and have a nice uh, apero or dinner with your friends and family. And again, the new radiators. So there's no current first floor for this one, but it's all ready to go. It's all closed off up there. And you would literally just run a set of stairs. For me, from about here, you'd run a set of stairs up there, through the ceiling, and you'd have full access to the first floor, where you can create a big master bedroom. So you'd have two bedrooms with the one downstairs, or you can create two smaller bedrooms upstairs. So it's all possible. There's nothing to do in these houses really. Now you can either rent them out or move in them whatever works for you really, but there really is nothing to do. And the shower room's all nice and modern and ready to go. Okay, let's go and look at the uh, external garden.